What's happening, good people? Got another unboxing for you. There's a guitar in here somewhere. Could do a playthrough of it too. I'm not really sure what the big box that you could fit an entire human body is with, but there's only this one guitar inside there. Let's take a look at it. So, Stritch has gotten into the guitar game. Pretty awesome. They uh, sent me this thing. Again, all my opinions, still my own. Haven't been told how to say anything. You know, from guitar pedals to amp stands to this stand behind me and now guitars. And so far, everything they've done has been pretty damn awesome. All right. One of the better gig bags that they've seen before. Kind of small though. All the case candy stuff in this tiny little uh, shaving pouch. Tuner. Capo. Branded cord. Strap. A little polish, strings, nine to 42. It's kind of thin. Take a look at this capo real quick. Capo's, uh, eh, it is what it is. Not buying a guitar for a capo, but good beginner. Looks like your standard uh, little tiny tuner. We'll leave that there. I'll probably forget it's there. And a little amp too. So I, these are, I believe they're under $140 right now. So you get quite a bit for your money. A little giggle stick and a wrench. It's got some pretty good weight to it. It's um, not too light. Ah, the lovely sound. What am I doing? I want to see it first. Not too shabby. Get this thing all tuned up and we'll do a little playthrough in a little bit. Alrighty, so we got this thing out of the box a couple of days later, let it acclimate. And um, yeah, I, I mean, overall, kind of the first impression, the, the fretboard's pretty nice. I mean, I doubt it's rosewood. It, it's definitely dark. Uh, I mean, it could be. I don't know, a different light. So I, I know I said during a live stream that I wasn't like really digging the top, but the top actually really actually isn't all that bad. And I know it probably sounds like I'm showing this thing and changing my mind, but I think the, the initial impression of when I first saw it, maybe the lighting I saw it, um, I mean, it, de it definitely, it's got like some like minor, like little scratches in it, nothing crazy, but the, the figuring of it, and I'll try to get it in the close up. It's actually not as bad as I was thinking at first. When I first thought it, I actually thought it was like really more like a pitcher. And it could be a pitcher, but yeah, so I'm not like trying to to push or say anything or anything like that, but it feels pretty good. It's what do you kind of expect of a uh strat? The uh, the fret edges are not sprouting at all. No, no sharp frets, they're not rounded. I'm sure they're not uh, stainless steel either. They're probably nickel. 
when you look at the descriptions, they really don't give you much as far as explanation. When they say like string, I think that's what they're talking about is the actual frets, but could be wrong. And I know they're all probably made in the same factory. It really looks remarkably similar to uh, the Fessley. And I probably should have tuned this up while um, I was preparing for this video, but it gives me time to let you guys know that like 75 to 80% of you aren't uh, subscribed to the channel. So uh, go down and hit that subscribe button. You can ding that notification bell too. And uh, you'll be notified when I put out future videos. I don't put out too many. I do a live stream a week and I try to do one to two videos. The main video comes out on Friday. I usually do like a supplemental one on, on Tuesday if I have something that I want to get out there. And you know what? If you don't like the content so much, don't unsubscribe, just uh, turn off the not notification. Then I'll show up in your feed, but it won't say, hey, this dummy put out another video. But if you are liking what I'm doing, hit that like button. It tells YouTube's algorithm that I'm doing a great job and that uh, it pushes out to more people. All right, she's all tuned up. I don't know if I mentioned too that um, I was given this guitar. I wasn't told what I had to say. My opinions are all my own and uh, I really haven't been paid for this. It just gave me the guitar. All right, we're just running through the uh, clean channel, the Marshall DSL 40. Let's see how it sounds. I mean, the uh, tone knobs definitely seem like they uh, catch pretty quickly. There's quite a wide range of uh, tonality from them. I found the tone. It's the uh, knob below volume. I guess it's like a dad joke for uh, searching for tone. Try it with a little bit of a uh, crunch. I mean, all in all, this is still leaps and bounds better than my first guitar ever. 
And I think it's a really good guitar for a beginner, and not only just for a beginner to learn how to play, but also how to do things too, like as far as, you know, changing your intonation. It's not really that far off out of the box, but uh, you really can't say that every single guitar that comes from Stritch is going to be the same intonation. I doubt they have somebody that's in there intonating it. Um, the tuners aren't that bad. They're the usual ones. Probably going to be one of the, almost the first things that you might want to replace. You know, doing fret polishing, work like that. And none of the uh, frets seem like they're dead ended, so it doesn't look like anything's out of whack with this guitar. Uh, for the price, you're going to get all the stuff that we threw out there. It's still, again, using T's guitar as the barometer. You can get the same guitar for about the same price, um, but you're getting so much more with that. This is definitely a good guitar for a beginner that might want to mod it and learn how to do all that stuff. Something that it's going to ever replace a Fender, but pretty dang good for what it is. And uh, you'll be seeing it more often. I'll be using it in all the uh, future videos. I've got a lot of pedals to run through that I bought myself. So uh, yeah, all those will be uh, completely unsponsored. If anybody wants to send me some money and sponsor them, I'll gladly put your name up on the screen. But uh, let me know what you thought about this guitar. And uh, if you uh, think you're going to pick one up, there'll be a link down below where you can get these on Amazon. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Again, give it a thumbs up. Share it with the people. Get the word out. You've all been a fantastic audience. And as always, stay tuned.